Hey guys, I decided to do something totally different today. So this is not a beauty tutorial or a haul or anything to do with makeup. It's actually on how I lost 15 pounds and how I maintain my weight. Let me start by saying that these are just things that I'm doing. These are just things that work for me. In high school and a little bit after high school, I guess for about a year, um, I was at least 15 pounds heavier. I honestly would not exercise. I wouldn't do anything. I would just eat junk food and drink orange juice and all sorts of things all day long. And I just, I guess, didn't really care. But there comes a point in life, especially as a girl, where you start to care a little bit more about your body. And I remember having acne too in high school. And I would wonder why the acne was there. But now that I think back, it was definitely because of my diet, because I think diet is the most important thing. So I'm a strong believer in that saying that 80% is what you eat, 10% is genes, and 10% is exercise. Okay, so the first thing I will tell you is go get a physical. Get a physical to make sure you don't have thyroids, you don't have anything, you know, high cholesterol. And once you get that and you you know, look at your results and you're healthy, your doctor says you're healthy. The next step is to really just change your diet. And I'm just gonna talk about some of the things that I did. So I used to eat burgers and fries and pizza and all sorts of things. When I started to lose weight is when I started to incorporate more greens into my meals and less carbs. That literally changed my life. I eat vegetables every single day. Thankfully, I do love the taste of it, so it's not like a drag to eat it because I'm sure that I would get sick of it but if it's not like cooked vegetables I eat salads a lot of salads I love arugula so I have it almost every single day and I love broccoli so I like to incorporate that into my meals so find a vegetable that you like and just eat it every day because it's really gonna help your digestive system it's really gonna clear your skin and all of that good stuff just like vegetables fruits are also very important I have um, berries and bananas almost every single day I don't like apples I don't like the taste of like a lot of other fruits I don't know why but um, since I love berries and I love bananas I try to OD on that if you guys follow me on Instagram you might have seen my favorite breakfast which is berries bananas and peanut butter it just keeps me full for at least a couple hours I have that with coffee and it just I love it what you want to do is eliminate juices and sodas out of your life. This alone will help you lose a lot of weight. If you really want to juice, just juice it yourself. Make sure it's organic and good for you and it doesn't have any add-on sugars and bad things that your body just doesn't even know how to digest. Moving on to something that's very, very important and that is water. Drinking water every single day is so, so important and lots of it too. I like to use this and sort of fill it up like every couple hours and try to just chug it every time I see it. So have it by your desk, have it wherever you work and just like really look at it and drink it. I got this from my yoga studio, but I'm sure you can get it online. It's called Life Factory. Um, you can go on their website, I'm sure, and pick one up or go to like Whole Foods and stuff too because they have this brand as well. But anyway, just invest in something cute that will hold your water. That way, hopefully you'll be inspired to drink more of it. Half the time you think you're hungry, you're probably thirsty. So first, drink some water and then go for something to munch on. Next thing that's also very important is eating or trying to eat every three hours because this is really gonna work your metabolism, make it work a little faster, and things are just gonna start to change for you. So um, what I do is I honestly get hungry every three hours. I know it sounds crazy, but every two to three hours I am chewing on something, whether it's fruits, vegetables, or even like little snacks like this one. This one's a special K one but I have um, a lot of these and I try to eat it like once a day I don't take advantage of it and eat it all the time but I think they're great because if you're really hungry or on the go then these are great try to pick out good bars you know do your research I'm not that picky because I don't eat it all the time I know people that like live on these things and that's not necessarily good for you I try to just have it once maybe twice a day depending on how busy I am but they're just great because they kind of keep you satisfied for a little bit. If you sit down to eat and you're starving, chances are you're gonna eat a lot more. But if you're sitting down and you're not starving, but 
you're just a little hungry, you're not gonna eat that much because obviously portion control is a big, big factor in losing weight and I just feel like when I eat these bars or if I snack every couple hours, it just doesn't make me super hungry. So when lunchtime comes, I'm satisfied with just a kale salad or an arugula salad with like a little bit of chicken on the side or something like that. I do occasionally cheat and I do occasionally eat like pastas and things like that, but because I work out, I think that it's okay. Like if I go eat pasta the next day, I will really work out so hard that hopefully I'll burn that pasta. So if you're the type that just doesn't work out, you don't like to do it, I guess stay away from bad carbs, but if you're the type that works out, then by all means treat yourself to pasta or burgers every now and then, that's totally fine. One thing I want you to never do is when you eat something bad, say you go out and you are really craving pasta, I don't want you to wake up the next day feeling like crap because you just ate this pasta and you feel like you shouldn't have done that. That is like the worst thing you can do to yourself. Instead, if you do eat pasta, just encourage yourself to go to the gym or do 45 minutes of cardio because most likely you will burn that. I used to do that often. I used to eat something and then feel guilty and then talk about it and feel like, oh my God, I just ate this. It does not do any good to you. Instead, it brings you down. There's like, you don't have energy. You feel discouraged and you just feel uninspired and you feel like you failed. And that is just not true. You just had pasta. People do this all the time. All you have to do is pick yourself up, go to the gym, do 45 minutes of cardio and burn that pasta. That's when you're going to feel so much better about yourself. And when you exercise, it's gonna make you feel like, you know what, this was hard work. I worked really hard for this. The next time you put something in your mouth, I promise you it's gonna be a better choice. Okay, this I learned from one of my trainers a long time ago. I take stairs rather than escalators. I know a lot of people just go straight to the escalators, but if you have two legs, two working legs, and if you are healthy and you can take the stairs, you have no excuse not to because it's a mini exercise. And if you have heels on and that's your excuse, that's terrible. You can still take the stairs with heels and nothing is going to happen to you. Instead, you are going to work that booty even more because working out in heels is harder, but hey, let me tell you, you burn a lot more calories that way. All right, moving on to exercising. It is most definitely important to exercise whatever it is that you wanna do, whether it's hardcore cardio or some weights or something just little. I want you to exercise at least three times a week. When I started to sort of change my lifestyle, I would hike every single day. So Monday through Friday, not including weekends. There are two trails by my house. So I used to do that often. And then I started looking into classes, like I got into yoga, I'm signed up at 24 hour fitness, so I'll do that. And if I'm not feeling the gym, then I'll take a Piloxing class, which is a um, combination of kickboxing and Pilates, which I am obsessed with. But if I don't wanna do any of those things, what I do is I actually watch Tone It Up. It's a YouTube channel and they're two girls and I love their exercises. So what I'll do is I'll put my iPad and I'll just start to do one or two of their exercises. They're about 17 to 18 minutes long and I think that it really gives me definition when I do it like religiously, so it helps me. Um, so if you guys are watching this, Karina and Katrina, thanks for all the great workouts. Keep them coming. I'm actually doing the love your body um, for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm doing now. I try to do it every day. Just like little things here and there I try to incorporate. All right, I'm just going to recap on everything I just talked about because I feel like it was a lot. First thing to remember is 80% is diet, 10% is exercise, and 10% is genes. Get a physical, make sure everything is okay with you physically before changing your diet you know, entirely. Eliminate all juices and fat-free juices and sodas and all of the things that are just filled with sugar. Eliminate that completely and instead drink lots and lots of water. Try to snack every three hours, whether that's an apple, banana, fruits, vegetables, uh, a bar, whatever it is, try to snack every three hours so that you can train your metabolism to work a lot faster. Go for the stairs and not the escalators. Believe me, these little things help. Incorporate fruits and vegetables into your daily diet. When you think you're hungry, first drink some water and see how you feel before you munch on anything else. And most importantly, try to exercise three times a week. And of course, if you cheat one or two days out of the week, don't worry about it, just work out a little more the next day. I hope you guys found these tips helpful. And if you did, give this video a big fat thumbs up. And of course, comment down below. I will see you guys very soon. Bye.